today's video is going to be all about my 9-0 collection. I love this brand so much. I think that Jess from Jess Face 90 is so cool and I wish that we could be best friends. Um, I have the entire 12-piece um, Men of Letters collection and then I also have a few random polishes from the brand that I want to share with you guys today. And I took the description straight from the website just to make sure that I didn't mess up any of the polish descriptions. I keep my Men of Letters collection in my color clutch next to my little Dean. And they are all safe in there with the swatch sticks on top. As well as the color swatches on the side. The rest of my collection from 9-0 is just stored in my Alex drawers. The first polish is called Bubbly and this is described as a champagne micro glitter on the website. This polish is definitely um, a three coater. I think that if you just do one coat it could be really pretty topper. You can see it really builds up very well with the next few coats. The next polish is called Robin's Egg and it is described as a turquoise crelly with multi-chrome flakies as well as gold shimmer. This polish as well needs a few coats just to get the base built up as well as get the flakies moved around a little bit. You don't have to do too much manipulation with it, but you definitely want to make sure that they're spread out enough. The next polish is Sprinkles, and this one is a white curly with multicolored glitters. This one, depending on my application, I can do two to three coats. It just kind of depends on how much of that base that I get picked up and how much glitter I feel like is distributed throughout the polish. But it's anywhere from two to three coats. The next polish is Dragon Fruit Freeze, and this is another white crelly with shredded black glitter. This has a similar formula to Sprinkles, where if I can get enough of the base out with the uh, flakies or the shredded glitter then I can just do two coats but typically I like to make sure that all the shredded glitter comes off pretty evenly. And sometimes with polishes like these with the Krellies I kind of like to do three coats even if I don't need to just because it gives more depth to the shredded glitter or the flakies that are in that particular polish. Next polish is S'more Hollow and this is described on the website as a taupe hollow. It kind of can lean a little pink or purple depending on your skin tone. This one has a really pretty two coat 
formula. Just beautiful in the sunlight with all that holographic glitter. The next polish is Ghost, and this is a light gray hollow. This is a very similar formula to S'more Hollow, and it is beautiful in two coats. This is the start of the Men of Letters Supernatural collection, and the first polish is Angel Blade. This is described as a silver hollow with silver flakies. With this kind of being a little bit um, metallic, I definitely don't feel like the brush strokes or anything show up after the polish is dry with top coat on it. The next polish is Holy Fire. And this one is a golden bronze flaky with a hollow sparkle. This is another one where I feel like depending on your application, you might like two or three coats. Um, I have sometimes a pretty white nail line, so I'll usually do three coats. The next polish is Croatoan. This is a red hollow. All of these hollows have really good formula and they are perfect in two coats. The next polish is the King of Hell, and this is a red metallic with a gold flash. The next polish is Purgatory, and this is described as a gray, brown, purple, shifting hollow, and it definitely shifts. I typically put this more towards the purple of my polishes, but I will say that sometimes I'm debating whether it is a gray or brown or purple, depending on the day. Stolen Grace is an ice blue hollow. And the color really built up on that second coat. The next polish is Lucifer's Cage, and this is just a dusty blue hollow. This polish, if you follow me on anything, is my favorite polish pretty much of all time. This is Singer Auto Salvage. It is described as a brown green jelly with gold hollow micro glitter. I have 
three bottles of this polish. Um, I've already gone through a bottle and I ordered three backups. It is a beautiful two coater and the polish is just gorgeous. Wayward Sun is a green hollow. The next color is Mousse, and this is a Chocolate Hollow. The next polish is the Colt, and this is a gray polish with red shimmer. The last polish is Baby, and this is a black jelly with silver hollow micro glitter. So that is my entire 9-0 collection. I really like this brand. I think that the formula of the polishes are amazing and that Jess comes out with some really unique colors and formulas, whether it's a crelly or a flaky or a hollow. This is really the only brand where I will go outside of my normal cream and pick up quite a few of her hollows or her crellies. I really like her polishes. I think that they're so creative. And like I said before, all of her polishes have really great formulas. You should definitely check out this brand, and I hope you guys enjoy this one.